a 12,000 mile deep canyon of fire, has opened on the sun, spitting intense solar wind towards our Earth. The solar filament is at least 12,400 miles, that's 20,000 kilometers deep and 10 times as long. Filaments of plasma escape from a fiery canyon that opens on the sun's surface on April 3rd on Sunday. It released powerful streams of magnetized solar wind that might bring more auroras to Earth later this week. According to Space Weather, this canyon of fire is at least 12,400 miles deep and 10 times as long. The UK weather forecaster Met Office confirmed that two filament eruptions occurring in the south central part of the sun, satellites in the extreme ultraviolet part of the electromagnetic spectrum, and ground telescopes equipped to observe in the warm carrying infrared wavelengths were both able to see the eruptions. The first filament blasted from the sun, Sunday, April 3rd, about 11 a.m. EDT, that's 1500 hours GMT. The second followed April 4th, Monday, yesterday, about 5 p.m. EDT, 2100 hours GMT. Both eruptions were accompanied by coronal mass ejections, CMEs, expulsions of charged plasma from the sun's upper atmosphere or the corona, and the Met Office in their statement, when the CME hits the Earth, it can wreak havoc with the planet's magnetic field, causing a geomagnetic storm. Powerful geomagnetic storms can disrupt satellite links and damage electronics in the orbit. And some cases, in some cases, the storms can even disrupt power networks on the ground. On the upside, geomagnetic storms often treat sky, treat sky watchers on Earth to mesmerizing northern lights and southern light displays. The CME related to Sunday's eruption will reach Earth about uh, April 6th tomorrow, about 1,200 hours GMT. And on Wednesday, that's April 6th tomorrow, we'll likely trigger, trigger only a mild geomagnetic storm, level G1 or G2 on a five-point scale. Space weather forecasters don't know yet whether the CME produced by the Monday eruption will hit the planet, according to the Met Office. Either way, polar lights are likely to get a boost on the coming days, which could make them observable further away from the polar regions than, than usual. Since Earth's magnetic field is the weakest above the poles, magnetized particles from CMEs penetrate deeper into Earth's atmosphere in those regions. The interaction between the solar particles and those of the atmosphere then causes colorful glows. And according to the Met Office, Earth's geomagnetic environment will likely get quieter in the coming days since the overactive sunspot that has been responsible for the recent bursts of activity has rotated away from our Earth-facing position. Overall, solar activity is currently related, relatively subdued, as the sun has only recently started waking up from a prolonged solar minimum. It's the phase of the sun's 11-year cycle of activity with barely any sunspots. Solar activity will likely pick up over the coming years and scientists expect this uh, cycle to peak around 2025. This is from uh, Teresa Polatrova on Live Science. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I highly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.